Hi guys, today's discussion is about inventory management system, specifically about safety stock with probabilistic models with constant lead time. Probabilistic model is a statistic model applicable when product demand or any other variable is not known but can be specified by means of a probability distribution. Uncertain demand raises the probability of a stock out, and one method of reducing stock outs is to hold extra units in inventory referred to as safety stock. Safety stock reduces the risk of running out of inventory or stock out during lead time. It also acts as a buffer when added to the reorder point, thus our reorder point formula becomes D times LT plus SS or the safety stock. Just to review, D is your average demand and lead, uh, LT is your lead time. The amount of safety stock maintained depends on the cost of incurring a stock out and the cost of holding the extra inventory. And the annual stock out cost is computed as follows based on the formula. We have the sum of the units short multiplied by the probability multiplied by the stock out cost per unit and multiplied by the number of orders per year. So for an example, David Rivera Optical has determined that its reorder point for eyeglass frames is 50 units. Its carrying cost per frame per year is $5 and stock out cost is $40 per frame. The store has experienced the following probability distribution for inventory demand during the reorder period. The optimum number of orders per year is 6. So we have the following table to represent our given information. So we have varying demands uh, during lead time. We have 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So in this example, we are given the idea that the minimum demand during lead time is 30, while the maximum demand is 70 with varying levels over time. Now, the probability given shows that there is a chance of 20% of having 30 demand, 20% again of having 40 units of demand, 30% for 50 units, 20% for 60, and 10% for 70. Now, the aim of safety stock is to um, to avoid having stock out or yung mawawalan ka ng customer dahil wala kang stock or wala kang units available to purchase by the customers. Now, the current given is we are um, having a reorder point of 50. So, this is the current reorder point. And for our solution, the first step is to determine all possible safety stock based on current ROP and the maximum demand. Now, ano bang ibig sabihin nun? So, since ang ating reorder point is currently at 50, so whatever happens na maging 30 man yung demand, so wala tayong problema. Why? Kasi we are currently at the 50 level of units. So, kung sakali mag-30 man siya, so may sobra pa tayo. Kapag naging 40 yung demand, okay lang din. Kasi 40 siya and 50 yung ating current level of inventory. So, kasi ang concept ng reorder point is you are maintaining your inventory level at that specific level and then once uh, nag-reach yung inventory level mo at that certain point, so yun na yung, yung trigger mo to order additional units para na maintain yung ating inventory level. So, ibig sabihin, kung mag-30 or mag-40 man, yung ating demand, wala tayong problem. Ngayon, ang tanong, ano ba yung mga possible scenarios kung saan possible na magkaroon tayo ng stock out? So, syempre, we are looking at the other spectrum of the given data. So, which is yung maximum demand. And yung maximum demand natin is 70. And meron ding chance of getting a demand of 60. Ngayon, kung wala naman given na 60 and 70 and yung ating maximum possible demand is only at 50, wala tayong problem. Okay? Now, to to identify ano yung mga possible uh, safety stock based on the current reorder point is yung uh, current level mo of inventory or reorder point which is 50 and then yung 60 and 70. So, ibig sabihin, you have three 
options. First is to maintain at your current reorder point which is at 50. Second is to keep a safety stock of 60 or no or a safety stock of 10. Ibig sabihin, papalitan natin yung reorder point natin ng 60. Kasi 50 plus 10. So that is 60. So yun ay para ma-cover yung scenario or yung possibility na maging 60 yung demand natin. And syempre, yung third option natin is yung pinaka-safe sa lahat which is to accommodate your maximum demand, which will entail you to keep a safety stock of 20. So, kasi, saan galing yung 20? That's 70 minus 50. So, kasi yun yung maximum na demand natin. So, yung kanina, na safety stock of 10, so that is the difference between 60 and 50. So, to again, to write the safety stock level, una, if we maintain at the current level of 50, so yung safety stock is 0. If you want to accommodate yung demand na 60, which has a chance of 20%, so ang safety stock nun ay 10. And lastly, yung pinaka-safe, so yun ay i-accommodate si 70, which will give you uh, a safety stock of 20. Okay? So, once we have identified the safety stock values, the next step is to compute for the stock out cost and additional holding cost. So, to continue, so we have the following columns in our solution. So, we have your safety stock, your inventory cost, and your stock out cost. So, we are given that your holding cost is $5 per unit and yung ating stock out cost is $70 per unit. Again, we are writing yung una, so 20. So, ito yung maximum na safety stock na pwedeng i-hold ng, ng company, so which is 20 units. Definitely, since we have additional units, we will incur additional holding cost or inventory cost. So, this will be 20 times 5. So, meron tayong additional na $100 for inventory. And then, syempre, stock out cost will not be incurred. Why? Kasi we are, uh, we are on the safest side. Kasi uh, if you hold 20 units of safety stock, kahit na anong mangyaring variation in our demand, wala na tayo magiging problema. Kasi we are accommodating the maximum level of demand. So therefore, there will be no stock out cost, uh, $0 shot. Next scenario is kapag naging 10 yung safety stock. So, meaning we are accommodating 60 units of demand. So, 10 times 5, so definitely it will incur a lower value of inventory cost. However, there is a chance of stock out cost. Why? Kasi at 10 safety stock, so may chance na maging 70 yung demand, eh we are currently at 60 by holding safety stock of 10 units. So, kapag naging 70 yung demand, so may chance of having a stock out. And kung babalikan natin yung ating uh, given information kanina, ano ba yung chance na magiging 70 units yung ating, uh, ano yung chance na magiging 70 units yung demand? So, balikan natin yung ating slide. So, there is a 10% chance or 0.1 chance of having a demand of 70. So, yun yung ating multiply na probability doon sa units short. Alright? So, tingnan natin sa ating solution. So, ang sabi, kung 10 safety stock yung ating ikikip, so, ibig sabihin, may chance na maging 70 yung demand. And kapag nangyari yun, we will have an, uh, a 10 unit, uh, unit short for our stock out. So, yung ating unit short is 10 multiplied by the probability of 10% of having a 70 demand. And again, you multiply by the stock out cost and you multiply by the number of orders per year. So, nakalagay dun sa kaninang uh, problem na nakastate na there is an optimal number of 6 orders per year daw. So, ang ating stock out cost, if we incur or if we carry additional 10 units of safety stock is $420. Okay? And then lastly, yung isang option, so ito yung ikikip mo yung ating level of inventory at the current reorder point or having no extra safety stock. So definitely, it will not incur inventory cost. 
However, pagdating sa stock out cost, mas malaki yung stock out cost nito. Kasi we are dealing with two possible scenarios. First, kapag naging 60 and second, kapag naging 70 yung ating demand. So, kung babalikan ulit yung ating uh, ating table, so, may chance na 20% yung ating uh, de uh, demand na maging 60 at may 10% chance na maging 70 yung ating demand. Okay? So, balikan natin siya. So, kapag naging 60 yung ating demand, we have 10 units short. And, ano yung ating value? So, 10 units short at 20% probability multiplied by 70 and then multiplied by 6. Again, 10 denotes the number of units short kapag naging 60 yung demand and yung point 2 is yun yung probability na magiging 60 yung demand. Plus, syempre, we have another scenario, yun ay kapag naging 70 naman yung ating demand. So, kapag naging 70, so 20 na yung units short and yung probability na magiging 70 yung demand is only 10% or 0.1. So, again, we multiply it by the safety or the stock out cost multiplied by the number of orders per year. So, we have a total stock out cost of 1000 $680. Okay? So, dito sa solution natin for zero sta uh, safety stock, so we can factor out naman 70 and 60. So, just to show the actual formula, so kaya natin sinulat yung entire value niya. Alright? So, to summarize, so we have to add the holding cost and the stock out cost. So, again, rewriting our table, we have your safety stock the additional holding cost, the stock out cost, and the total cost, as well as your actual reorder point. So, this is yung ating may added na safety stock na siya. So, for a safety stock of 20, there will be additional holding cost of 100, but there will be no stock out cost. So, ang total cost natin for carrying extra 20 units is $100. And yung ating actual ROP is again 50 plus 20. So, this is 70 units. Next is kapag nag-hold tayo ng 10 extra stock. So, 10 units for the safety stock will incur a $50 additional holding cost. But there will be a stock out cost of $420, which is $470 in total. And yung ating magiging actual ROP is at 60 units. Finally, for a safety stock of zero, so we have no additional holding cost. However, yung stock out cost natin mas malaki, which is $1,680. So same din siya for the total cost. And we are maintaining our safety stock at the actual level of reorder point, which is at 50 units. So, assessing yung ating total cost column, so we should be uh, choosing the one that has the least cost, which is $100, and that is by keeping 20 units of safety stock. So, ibig sabihin, mag-shift na tayo ng ating actual reorder point uh, to 70 units. So, this is the end of our lecture. So, if you have more questions, suggestions, or comments, just comment down below and I will see you again in our next video. Thank you for watching!